People that say we should keep the laws of God, i.e. Torah keepers, are often criticized with comments like this. People like to say that we pick and choose which laws to follow, but that's not the case. Furthermore, when you say something like that, it proves that you haven't read the front of the Bible like it actually matters. A lot of people read the Bible like they read the instructions when they buy a TV. Yeah, maybe you read it, but you were reading it like it didn't matter, so then what's the point? So with that being said, no, we don't ignore the judgment part of it. In fact, we understand the judgment part of it, which is why we don't render judgments. And I'll go over that in just a second, but let me pose this question to you. If you don't own a car, does the speed limit apply to you? No, it doesn't. You can't get written a speeding ticket if you don't actually drive. But that doesn't mean the law doesn't exist or doesn't apply to somebody else. Same concept here with a lot of these laws. And a lot of times people like this commenter like to say stuff like, well, you're supposed to kill people for not keeping Sabbath. Where are your stones? Why aren't you stoning them? And I'll go over that in a second. But think about this. Do you think adultery is bad? Because the max penalty in the Torah for adultery is death. So I could pose this same argument to a mainstream Christian talking about the Sabbath. If you don't kill an adulterer, are you fine with adultery? Does that mean the law for adultery no longer applies, that we shouldn't keep it, even though we don't stone people to death? No, of course not. Of course the laws for adultery still matter and should be kept. Same thing for the Sabbath. If you think God's commandments matter, well, guess what? The Sabbath is the fourth one. It should still be kept. Even if you're not stoning people to death for breaking it. Furthermore, if you don't follow the order that God laid out in the Torah, then you're breaking it. Deuteronomy 16, you shall appoint judges and officers in all your towns that the Lord your God is giving you according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with righteous judgment. Deuteronomy 17, if any case arises requiring decision between one kind of homicide and another, one kind of legal right and another, or one kind of assault and another, any case within your towns that is too difficult for you, then you shall arise and go to the place that the Lord your God will choose. And you shall come to the Levitical priests and to the judge who is in office in those days, and you shall consult them and they shall declare to you the decision. The judges and priests are the ones that are supposed to render the judgment for death penalty or commuting it. Just like in our legal system today, just because the max sentence for something is death doesn't mean that's what the judge is going to sentence you to. And remember Deuteronomy 4, you shall not add to the word that I command you nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God. And Deuteronomy 12, everything that I command you, you shall be careful to do. You shall not add to it or take away from it.